friends welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Christine so if you guys saw a couple of weeks ago Brand and I were in Italy and south of France for a month and I got so many questions on how we packed for that trip and we are actually headed on another one month adventure to London Paris New York and then Miami so it's another four week month long trip and I thought I would share some of my best packing tips I've learned while packing for my trip so let's go ahead and dive right in so the luggage I'm actually using is from Manos and I actually have been really enjoying this a lot of you guys were asking how it compares to my way and I actually really really like the Manos it's quite a bit more affordable than the way is and it's super sleek and beautiful so I really enjoy it. I'll go ahead and link all of my like makeup bags luggages all of the little like things that I talk about down below so I already packed my skincare and makeup and I'm a big skincare and makeup girly so I just cannot pack light there but when Brennan and I were in Europe for a month we each only did one check luggage and I also had it carry on with me and it lasted us the entire four weeks that we were gone in Europe so for me it's the most important to pack as efficiently as possible and to bring obviously as many items as I want to bring and make use of everything that I bring in the least amount of luggage one big packing tip that I learned is to stick to a color story and bring layers so think scarves button-ups cardigans any type of thing that you could layer on top of each other or wear alone as its own separate piece I also have started to experiment more with accessories because a thick chunky scarf can really change up a whole look and makes it look like you're wearing something completely different and it serves another purpose of keeping you really warm as well so for me I usually plan out my outfits I'll actually come up with an outfit for every single day and take actual pictures on my phone and that kind of forces me to bring only multi-purpose items cardigans sweaters pieces that I can wear multiple ways shoes that can be dressed up or down and a big tip for me is that if I can't style it three or more ways I'm actually not going to bring it so while I'm putting together my outfits I actually end up pulling a lot of items that I originally planned to pack because I couldn't outfit them enough so we need to save space for things that we're actually going to wear and by taking pictures throughout my trip if I like run out of inspo or forget what I wanted to wear with like a certain piece. I actually have pictures to help me remember. As I'm kind of packing my stuff, I'll start pulling out my heaviest layers and this leads me to tip number two. And it seems obvious, but it is to wear your heaviest layers. So headphones, shoes, jackets, coats, nine out of 10 times if I'm bringing my Doc Martens, I'm gonna wear them because those are by far my heaviest shoes. So wearing all these layers to the airport and struggling just a little bit allows you to pack a lot more stuff in your luggage or leave space if you are gonna go shopping. Also, obviously it depends what season you're traveling in. This season, Brian and I are going obviously in the winter, so we're bringing a lot of thermal layers, tights, gloves, scarves, a lot of different layering pieces. In hot weather, I'll actually bring more silk linens and a lot of button-ups because those are really lightweight and breathable but also serve as good layering pieces if it does get a little bit cooler at night. And then generally speaking, when I'm packing, I don't bring a lot of denim because denim is very, very heavy. And if I am gonna bring like baggy jeans or something like that, I'll actually put them either in my carry-on or wear them to take away some of the weight. I also am bringing another carry-on with me and I actually put my leather pants and jeans in here and most of my purses as well. Actually all of my purses because I want those to stay with me at all times and then if I ever do any shopping, if I pick up any designer pieces, those are all going to go in my carry-on so that for the most part is like mostly empty to allow for the shopping that I'm going to do. So that brings me to tip number three to avoid overpacking. And my biggest tip is to underpack because worst case is you wear the same outfit or piece multiple times. But if you're like me and you like to shop, you want to make sure that you have space to do so. So for Brandon and I's four week trip in Europe, we actually only packed for two weeks. So I only made sure I had 14 days worth of outfits with me and that way that accounted for if we wanted to rewear any of the outfits if we wanted to borrow each other's stuff or do shopping and that just really forces us to kind of slim down on what we pack with us and then two weeks into our trip i made sure to book an airbnb or somewhere that we can do laundry and that is really helpful for socks 
underwear, bras, stuff like that, that you wear a lot that you eventually need to wash. For our trip, we actually are going back to our Soho apartment that we stayed a couple of months ago when we were in New York for the month. And so we are gonna have a washer and dryer machine there. And that is like gonna be week three of our trip. So that's perfect because we can do all of our laundry. So we're very strategic with that. And that cuts down literally in half all of the like things that we need to bring because we can do laundry. If you're going with your boyfriend, Brian and I obviously mostly travel together and we actually wear a lot of each other's stuff because oversized clothing is coming back into style. We actually share the same pants. He's like only a slightly bigger waist than I am. So a lot of my pants, him and I actually share. So we'll kind of like figure out what pants he's bringing and then I'll bring separate pants and we'll just plan to share each other's clothes and that just minimizes what we bring and it's very efficient. I always pack a duffel bag or a tote bag and that is just useful if you have additional things that you want to bring home with you if it doesn't fit in the luggage that you brought and tote bags are also just useful if you're just out for the whole day and need a lot of stuff with you i always remember to bring a tote bag and then duffel bag is kind of like a bonus just a backup plan in case you buy more stuff and then i always have a list on my phone of all of the things that i always pack with me and this is a tried and true list i always refer back to this when i am packing and going on a trip because I always want to make sure that I have things like cotton rounds, Q-tips, pencil sharpener, sunscreen, things like that. So I'll go ahead and pop on the list that I always use, but it's nice to refer back to something like this so that you always remember to bring the essentials. I also have a makeup bag that has a little pouch with all of my essentials in there. So I always keep things that I know I'm going to use, tweezers, sharpeners makeup removers lash glue so that just little pouch always has the security things that i always use and then that just kind of cuts down on me having to repack this bag every single time it's just like one less little thing i have to think about you know tip number four this kind of goes back to tip number one and it is to pull outfit inspo and when you're taking pictures of your outfits a lot of the times i'll actually look on pinterest and instagram and go through my screenshots and see what type of like outfits i want to pack with me i'll start with like key pieces and outfit around that so i just got like a little silver balenciaga bag and i wanted to make sure i brought that with me and was able to outfit it so i actually built a lot of outfits around that bag brandon actually starts with his shoes so if he has like a pair of sneakers that he wants to bring with him he'll build three or four outfits around that shoe and if you can't outfit it that many times then you need to rethink either the shoes or the clothes that you're bringing for him he is more about efficiency so he is actually only packing three pairs of shoes for the four weeks that will be gone and he typically brings the shoes that he can make the most outfits with something that is the most versatile and he's not going to bring like three pairs of white sneakers are all going to be different so he can make completely different looks with each one of those for me i can't pack nearly as light and i feel like in the fall it's a little bit more difficult because the layers are a little bit heavier so i think i'm bringing five pairs of shoes two pairs of boots and three like sneakers comfortable shoes and it also helps me to put together actual outfits because like i said before if i don't find myself reaching for any pieces that I packed. I'm actually just gonna set it aside and not pack it with me because you obviously wanna make sure that everything you bring you're gonna wear because when I was in Italy, I actually packed like a couple of things that I didn't wear at all and it kind of sucked carrying it around for the whole month. One big mistake that I always used to do is whenever I got new clothes or something fun and exciting, I always wanted to bring it with me, like that sweater that I never wear. I always was like, I'm going to bring it with me. But if you're not going to wear it, if you don't typically outfit it, don't bring it. Bring things that are tried and true that you know how to wear, that you feel comfortable in, that you can outfit multiple different ways because that is going to be the most efficient practical thing to pack similar to products you shouldn't bring like brand new products that you've never tried before because if it doesn't work out you're just stuck with it the entire time on your trip so always stick to the tried and true i also get asian glow so i always pack a couple of pepsid tablets with me and since we're gone for a month i actually pack like quite a few things of these in my little cadence capsules and these are just Great for popping in my backpack, purse, whatever. Electronics are also sometimes my favorite to pack. So these are some of my favorite essentials. I always bring this little loom cube light with me. 
it's dead so I need to charge that but I always carry two of these it's great for lighting and it's just super compact because we are going to London and Paris we need to have the international plug converter things a couple chargers my hard drive extra film then of course extra batteries portable charger 